Good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tweet Talks, y'all. So today is Monday, so I'm going to tell everybody that's listening, happy Monday. So all my listeners, how was your weekend? Did you do anything exciting, anything new, or you just like your girl and you just like to chill? So I did have I did have an exciting weekend for the beginning part. I got to get up with some old friends and kind of just vibe out. But today's episode is entitled By the Time It's Time I'll Be Done. I know some of y'all are sitting here saying, What in the world is she talking about? Well, you ever think about life and you think about the things that you want. Or the things that you just have to deal with when you think it's the right time. You ever thought about that? And when I when I say that, this is what I mean. I mean, there's some of us that want a business. And you struggling and working so hard to get that business. And every time you think about it, you're like, you know what? Time is going by. Yes, time is going by. Time is moving on. And... Here I am wanting this thing, <clears throat> this ba- this 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 business, this relationship, this certain income, uh, maybe to relocate. Anything, and you just look at life, and you like. By the time it's my time, I'm, I'm not gonna have nothing to give. And I particularly have experienced this. I mean. I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday and we were like, I guess, comparing the things in our lives that we want and the things that, you know, we get. And it just, it might not add up to where you see yourself. But you know what? In all reality, I'm going to take y'all on a spiritual trip real quick. And in all reality, there's things in my life that I said I thought that I would have later in life that I didn't. That I got earlier. And so what happens is it's like it's God's plan. Because I'm gonna tell y'all, before I became a parent, I was the girl in the girl group that did not have a child. Like I was the one, everybody else had their children at a younger age, and I was the one that did not have any children at that time. And it was crazy because I didn't feel like I belonged when it came to certain things. Like, I felt like when it came to certain things, it was pointless to have a conversation. Like, I mean, it could be something simple like, okay, girl, what you doing this weekend? Well, I knew that asking that question of, hey, what you doing this weekend? Wouldn't go either the way I wanted it to, or it was just like inevitable. I already knew that. My girls was going to say they had something to do with the kids. They had the child's birthday party. They had to go school shopping. They had a doctor's appointment. They had a family trip. It was something that just did not include my lifestyle. And so when I got to a point where I said, you know what? I want to have a child too. I prayed and I prayed. Yes, I did. I did. I did. Anybody that's out there listening that wishes to be a parent, just like the title of this episode, when it's your time, it will be your time. And so don't feel like you're done. Well, as time went by, you know, my child ended up being the youngest out of the group because I didn't have mine during the time that everybody had theirs. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't I didn't feel like a part, you know, um, I mean, I would involve myself in some children activities and stuff, but I just, I didn't feel that connection. Well, when it was time for me, it was, it was my time and it was great and it was, um, well prepared and it was, wasn't a surprise. And, you know, so I say that to say, sometimes we go through different things in life and we like, you know what, when is it going to be my time? And you're like, you know what? By the time it's my time, you know, I ain't going to be no good. Physically, I'm not going to be no good. Mentally, I'm not going to be no good. I'm going to be mentally exhausted. Um, I'm just not going to have, I'm not going to be able to enjoy it. But I'm going to tell you something. Don't ever feel like that. Because 
everybody has their timing and when you're dealing with life you don't see anything but whatever's going on right then and there you can't see the future sometimes you can't even be clear on the past you just remember certain things of the past that may stand out more than others but when it's your time just know your time is is gonna make how they say how they say y'all you know what when it's your time that time is gonna make space for you it's so true it's when it's your time you know i had a, a, a friend of mine she wanted she wanted to have a baby so bad and i used to always tell her like you this is something that you want and you want it now but i promise you there's a reason why you don't have a child right now and i can understand it because for me i had no idea the stresses of parenthood like ladies okay people i used to think the hardest part of being a parent is when this child is a baby crying at night oh no honey (laughs) <laughs> a parenthood is it's a, a lifelong event and just like I had told this individual I said you know what the craziest thing is what you see as a parent is nothing like that like for me I used to think the dopest thing was seeing somebody in the street holding their child's hand or they got the cute little outfit on they pushing the baby stroller it's like those parts that you see they end and when they end, a whole nother realm of stuff comes in next. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, same thing of one of, one of my homeboys, we was talking and he was talking about relationships and he was like, you know, by the time I, you know, I find a wife or somebody that I even want to settle down with, like I'm going to be old and gray. And I said, you know what? Sometimes it's easy to feel that way, but maybe that person that's waiting for you is not in your age group right now. Like, you know, if we think of it as a, in a spiritual realm, we have to think about it like, you know what, that person is being prepared for you. Whatever nonsense they got going on that God knows that you are not going to be able to deal with, he's got to clean that up first before that even comes your way. Because if it's anybody like me, that person's not gonna be in your life long if it's something they can't you can't do it. So you have to remember, and even I, you know, I do these podcasts and I, I do them because it's good to talk to my tweet talks community. But in all reality, it's helpful to myself sometimes. It's like a helpful reminder that okay, this this is what might be going on right now, but baby, it will not be going on later. And that's something that we have to remind ourselves. Like life is life continues to evolve. It's it nothing stays still. It really doesn't. It doesn't stay still. I'm sure all of my listeners, I want you to go back and li- think about your life and think about one of the hardest times of your life or one of the most confused times of your life or the t- one of the times in your life when you just didn't know what you were going to do. Think about it. And I ain't talking about a month ago. I ain't talking about a week ago. I'm talking about some time back. Think of how you were dealing with something and you really did not even get through it. And then look at your life now. You didn't think you were past that. (laughs) You didn't think. You thought it was the end of the world. You thought, how in the world am I going to get through this? Now, that goes to say, that doesn't mean that when it passes, it's fully gone. Because some things will never be fully gone. They leave remnants in your life. I mean, I'm talking about a bad, it could be a bad breakup, bad relationship, financial issues, uh, work issues, co-worker issues. I mean, all these things, sometimes they leave remnants behind. But they do pass. And so that that's my biggest thing that I, I always want to share that with people to make people understand that don't feel like by the time it's my time, I won't be any good. Because everything that you go through in life, let me tell y'all something. Let me just be real candid with y'all right now. I went through more, more recently a time in my life where I was just like, 
you know, I had somebody in my life that I was like, oh my gosh, what in the world? I need this to be done and over with because I can't. I mean, this person was narcissistic, trying to cause an uproar in every way they could in my life. I mean, every way they could. It was just constantly trying, trying. Well, needless to say, this person decided to move on. They're not around anymore. But you know what I didn't realize? At that time, God was preparing me for what I was going to have to deal with after by putting this person in my life at that time. Because, yeah, they're long gone. They're long gone. But you know, you know, you know the movie Minions, right? You know, sometimes the big evil thing will drop off minions, pieces and particles of themselves. And they will leave these minions behind to do the job. Not as good as they did, but they will leave these minions behind to do the job. And see, when you're dealing with the biggest, heaviest thing, that biggest, heaviest problem, when you get through it, something stays with you that gives you the ability to deal with these type of problems. See, that's an aha moment right there. That's an Oprah aha moment. And so when I look back on the situation, I said, God, I, I, I thought I thought this type of stuff was done. It was over. But when I look at it, I said, no, it's not over. I said, but the way I'm juggling it is so different. See, you could be in something and you could be feeling like you're falling apart. You are failing. You are not doing good at this. You are just, it's taking everything out of you. And then when the next situation comes along, you're able to snap into position because you're thinking this, I've seen something like this before. I've, I've, I've dealt with a situation similar to this before. It wasn't as bad, but I, I, I know what to do. I have an idea of how to handle this. See what I'm saying? But when you were in that big thing, you were thinking, OMG, I am tired of this. When is it going to be my time for the goodness, for the good good? <laughs> but what happens is God is preparing you to be able to deal with this next lower level thing. And in order to be, in order to be prepared, like if you think about a boxer, before he gets in the ring and he's like, he's got his scheduled opponent, he's training. Y'all know that saying? You wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Well, guess what? Every time you went to the gym to prepare, prepare, prepare. No, that opponent was not there. But you were being prepared for an opponent like that. That opponent was studied, his style. How he's won his his fights in the past. Everything is built up. Because it's put in you to prepare you for the next thing. So babies, I'm not going to stay before y'all too long. But I want to tell y'all it's a new day. It's a new week. Chin up and know that whatever you face, whatever you face, is because it's in preparation for something else. Okay? Y'all have a good day, a good week. And I love y'all babies. Peace out. Sweet, sweet y'all.